Hello. Hello, everybody. As you guys are coming back to work for the library, you are going to notice that we have a new check-in, check-out system. It is called Alma. And I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of things that you need to know when returning to the library so you can check out books. First, I'm going to show you one of the cool things about the new system is that you can search the general collection right from the beginning search bar by keywords. So if I put in understanding perspective, The book will pop right up. Right at the top, it says that there is, it is available because of the little green dot. If you click on physical, it will also show you the call number and if we have more than one copy available. You can then, if you need to do further actions, go up to the three little dots and click on it. You can also request to put the book on hold if it is not available um, or if we can't find it in the stacks. And that we can do the request type. Should always be patron physical item request. Um, we could maybe even do a digital request um, if it is something that is being regularly asked for on hold and we can't get it to the students fast enough. Um, so we can do a patron physical item request. We can then put in their information by either scanning their badge or typing in their name. Where are we going to pick it up? Alfred Goldstein Library. And some, click Submit. We'll put the item on hold. All done. As you can see, it says the request was successfully submitted. Awesome job. Then we can go to back to X Libras to the main page, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of other things. Um, fulfillment up at the top is where we go for checking in and checking out materials. We're going to start with manage patron services. This is how we are going to check out or change any information that might be needed, such as maybe date extensions or renewals. So we will just my name. So you're going to type in the last name in patron or scan their ID badge. Then you are going to click on Okay, once you bring up the student's or patron's account, then you're going to click into scan item barcode. And because I'm on my computer recording, I am going to have to type in the barcode. Okay. So, as you can see, oh. <laughs> Once you put in the scan or type in the barcode, it's going to check the item out to the patron, okay? So you might also have an item that when you put it in, uh, you might get a pop-up that says it's on hold or a pop-up that says that it's on closed reserve or if there's some restriction on the item but it will pop up right in the middle of your screen and tell you why you cannot check it out to that patron at that time. You can then go down a little bit and you'll see all the items that I now have checked out to myself. Um, if we need to extend um, you can always see all loans as well. So if I had books prior checked out to this visit, I would have to go to all loans to be able to see everything that I have checked out under my name. If I want to renew um, a particular book 
or renew all of it. Um, maybe I came in and I just need to extend all the dates or I need to change the due dates um, farther than the extension, then that's fine depending on the situation. So make sure that you check with us first on that one. Um, but if we need to renew all to extend it for a little bit longer because we're not ready to bring them back yet, this is where you go. Now if you go up to the top, you can also see if an item has been put on hold um, or any other requests that have been done. And you can also see the returns that you just did this session or all returns that we've done as well. Okay, once you are done checking out anything, we can go up to the top here, back to fulfillment, and we can go to return items. So anything that's being returned by the patrons, this is where we would go. Um, so again, you just, I'm going to type in the item barcode because I cannot scan on my laptop. And it re re does, rechecks everything in. As you can see, this item is a closed reserve for rice. So it's going to let you know right at the top. And that's where it's going to go. Um, if it's just a normal return to the shelf, it won't say have anything. And then I'll just go back to the floor. Okay, so returns is easy. Um, we also have scan item in items. This is where we're going to just do the basic in-house check-in. The books that get, you know, left on the table, the chairs just kind of lying around, um, not where they're supposed to be in the stacks. So we're going to bring all those still back down to the first floor and we are going to scan the barcodes for the in-house check-in. So you're just going Again, just go to scan item barcode. Scan the book and that's it. And it just automatically lets us know if and just scans it back in the system let us know that people used it. Okay. So we go back to the main page. That's going to be the end of showing you guys how to check out and check in books. You're going to see recent pages. Um, if you're ever on the main page, you don't always have to go to fulfillment to get to scan items or manage patrons. Any of the last five pages that you've gone to will show up right here. So you can just click on manage patrons from here and start your scanning once you make sure that you're set for the right check-in, check-out um, for the books to be registered. And that's it, you guys. That's the new system and all the important things that you need to know. Can't wait to see you. Bye!